Meet Jimmy. Jimmy is excited for the first day of school this year, but when his teacher begins to deliver the content for the lesson, he becomes bored, restless, and disengaged. Even as a child, Jimmy knows that he can easily perform a quick Google search on a mobile device to find this information. Unfortunately, Jimmy's class traditionally relies on the teacher-centered direct instruction of state and national standards. Put simply, too much emphasis is being put on the content rather than the process of learning, and it isn't working for Jimmy. Jimmy's teacher needs to shift from a knowledgeable classroom to a knowledge-able one. Traditionally, schools have been preparing students to be knowledgeable or intelligent and well-informed, but times have changed and schools need to help students become knowledge-able, the ability to acquire new knowledge and skills, so that they can become independent, lifelong learners in this ever-changing world that we live in. For example, instead of teaching out of a history book that is often biased and outdated, Teachers need to be encouraging students to use the internet to search for credible resources to find this information. What's more, they can even search for resources that are up to date and from any geographical region to gain multiple perspectives or connect with other classrooms and experts around the world. This type of instruction is what we call inquiry-based learning, where students are empowered to answer questions and solve problems that are meaningful to them. The first step to transitioning to a knowledge-able classroom is to teach students how to craft meaningful questions. Using a prompt at the beginning of a unit, such as a statement, an image, or a short video, is a great way to ignite curiosity. Then, using the question formulation technique, students begin the process of asking questions, refining them, and then prioritizing them until they reach their driving question. The second step is to teach students how to gather information. In today's world, our job is to help our students become creative, critical thinkers who can learn how to access and use the world's information to help them solve complex problems. Therefore, students need to be able to determine the best and most credible resources to answer their questions. Resources can include Google searches, books, databases, YouTube videos, action research, and even hands-on experience. The last step is to teach students how to solve problems. In order to get the most productivity out of our students, it is often helpful to provide them with problem-solving strategies. Some of these strategies include variations of the engineering design process in a scientific method. One of my favorite variations of the design process comes from the book Launch by John Spencer and A.J. Giuliani. However, some students might prefer not to reference these types of processes and try to use their own method when solving a problem or making a product. Regardless of their method of choice, it is important to allow students to struggle with the learning process, encourage them to troubleshoot, and praise their efforts when they persevere. So, by focusing on the learning process, we as educators can help our students develop the ability to learn how to learn. It all starts with a shift. A shift from the traditional knowledgeable model to the innovative knowledge-able model. And with this subtle shift, we can become change agents by helping Jimmies all over the world become independent, lifelong learners, and creative problem solvers.